Hello everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. This is Kathy Arts and today we're going to be doing the second part to my Galmora and Thanos drawing. In this part, um, I'm basically just correcting some parts that I missed out on the first video. And now we're going to go to the coloring process. I usually start by the skin because it's the part that I'm most comfortable with or the face in general. And then I usually move on after that to like coloring the the hair and the clothes. So I go in first with the skin and then I erase whatever is supposed to be white or a different color. So that way it can, you know, be correct. Um, not going to lie to you guys. I had a little issue with this drawing because mainly because of Thanos, I not really used to drawing those type of characters with big faces and like very bulky kind of characters and then the glove was like giving me a hard time but in the end i ended up doing like my style i guess what i'm wondering is like do you guys use medibang like myself or do you use a different type of software uh, medibang if you're not aware it's a free software that is you can use it in um ios um i believe it's available for android too but i'm not 100 percent sure i also do use procreate but i'm not the best at it in this part you can see i'm using more than one color to sort of create the hair color that gamora has i like to experiment with many different colors to make a certain type of color you can say I like to experiment with certain brushes and tools. Uh, what I usually use is pencil tool, the pen tool, the sharp one. I use airbrush and I use the watercolor tool. I think those are the main ones that I usually go for. And if it comes to like blending or like making a smudge, I use the smudge tool. For certain things and then I use the blur to for like sort of like use it for blending main, mainly and it works really well to an extent of course Medipen has uh, it's limited to certain brushes so I work with what I have I have no complaints it's a free program let me know down in the comments what brushes do you use so now I'm actually coloring in the infinity stones and what I and what I end up having is that while I'm actually putting this color on the glove, I end up changing it later because I wasn't really happy the way it was looking. It just looked too weird in my screen. It looked almost green rather than gold. So as you can see, I went for a lighter color. It might not look green to you guys, but in my screen, it really did. I don't know why. It was just super weird. So I ended up changing the color and then the color that I chose at the end, I actually was happy with. So for this part, I'm actually going to start focusing on Gamora again. I'm going to be coloring her clothing. I do apologize, guys, that I do tend to rotate my canvas a lot for two reasons. One, I'm actually left-handed, so it's a lot harder for me to position my hand to draw. And two, I, I just have the habit of rotating like my sketchbook, my canvas when I'm drawing. But I'm going to try my best for my future videos to keep the canvas as, as straight as possible so you guys can really see the image better. I feel like the images were not shown properly in the video because I kept rotating the canvas so I'll definitely keep that in mind for my future videos if you guys want to see any how to step-by-step -step videos let me know down in the comments I would love to hear from you guys to see what you want to see like I am thinking of doing a whole series for Marvel or just comic book characters in general. I'm also going to do a manga or an anime one. And lastly, I'm thinking of doing one based on my characters or like challenges that I want to do. Just let me know down in the comments what you would, would like to see 
or what you want me to try and I'll see what I can do to get those around. Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it so far because, you know, it's very helpful actually. And, you know, I would love to see if people really like it or not. At this point, I'm actually putting in like the sparkles in the gems um or in the fitting infinity stones and i use the sparkle tool for that um so it can give it that really you know glossy look this part i had a really really hard time on um, the background because it's not like photoshop that i can easily do it i had to really go around and figure out how to do the background so it can go well with the picture so what I try to do is like a galaxy kind of look and some shattering pieces. If you watch the movie, you'll probably understand what I'm talking about. Sorry, it's probably a spoiler, but you know. Um, and yeah, I just try to, what I try to do is just erase where the picture is at in a different layer and just erase that area and then just leave the background and expand the background a bit. Some of the footage got deleted for some reason or didn't get recorded because I think my recorder stopped when I was drawing for whatever reason. But this is pretty much the end of the video. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next. And I would love to hear from you guys and any feedback or anything. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.